Obviously being there, you know, from the transition. Just what was that like and how easy was the transition? What kind of a culture does Coach Miller bring in that uh, he previously didn't have or maybe uh, tweak a little bit? Uh, I wouldn't say it was easy. Uh, you know, any time you lose somebody close to us, it's not easy. Uh, but at the same time, it, it happens, you know. It's, 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 uh, we had to adjust. We had to learn the whole system. And it's just like homework, you know. Trying to learn all of this, you know, from us and the teams. But I think he's, uh, he's changed them more to be more defensive minded. You know, uh, he recruits guys that he wants to play defense. Uh, if you don't want to play defense, then you won't play. It's as simple as that. How do you guys see this season playing out? I mean, I know practice has started and everything. How do you guys, you know, uh, how have you gelled this year? And uh, what do you guys look forward to as the season progresses? Uh, I think we go really well. Uh, everybody's close with everybody. I don't think there are any clicks in the team. Uh, you know, uh, I just think everybody's really getting along, and I think that chemistry is really showing the court. And then at the same time, I just think we have we have higher expectations for ourselves than anybody has for us. So I just think going forward, we have to hold ourselves to that. We can't have high expectations in the long run. Anything you most from the first couple of the practice so far? Um, yeah, not so much. I knew it was going to be the seventh row there, and my teammates were great. Uh, uh, respect. All the guys have been getting after each other. Uh, there's never been a slack off. Um, like last year, there were times where you knew what teams were going to win that day of practice. But this year, uh, it's real competitive. Uh, it's pretty much day back and forth every time between red and white. What does it look like? So it's competitive as it is. Yeah, yeah, the kind of work on um, your offensive game a little bit. I, I, I know think, uh, uh, yes, yes, yesterday, actually, team with yeah. me, Romeo, Evan, yeah, I've definitely been Monte, yeah. and every day working on my shot. Q yeah. versus yeah. Zach, yeah. Al, yeah. Cliff, yeah. Justin. Oh, yeah, we got to ask you about you. have one. I do have it. Zach and It was just up and down. Five and five. So, Juwan. Everybody going back and forth. Um, it was, he thinks, he it was almost weird because he nobody, the best it wasn't, like, nobody was really sworn because everybody was uh, just guarding as long as they could uh, because the other team didn't want to run. And then at the same time, like, we were just running our stuff. And it, it was just incredible all around. Sign things to come? Average 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 to uh, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully that the uh, team is not scoring against the ball. Question is uh, most of the time, it's uh, if we're playing hard, he would let us go. Um, because if, even if like the young guys make a mistake, uh, he'll just correct it after that segment is over. You know, because even in the game, he can't you know just stop the whole play and uh, try to coach it up. He lets it happen because even when they're doing it, they're doing it at 100. percent So at least they're making a mistake at 100. percent That's easy to fix. You can't fix that. What does that say about depth? Because it looks like you guys have like a thousand, maybe thirteen guys who really, you know, could definitely you know, earn a niche in some form or fashion in this team. What does that say about some Italian kind of never Oh, uh, I think it says a lot. Um, just everybody comes in, and if we're not playing that many, um, at least at some point, then we're not getting the maximum effort out of everybody. And then that that falls on the coaches, that falls on Zach and myself, uh, holding everybody accountable and down the line. So we just have to make sure everybody's having that accountability to give their best in practice and in the game. Has Devontae really established himself as the true, as the real kind of ball handler for you guys, or is Fantasy kind of giving him some, some trouble? Um, that's probably one of the best battles uh, in practice, uh, watching them go against each other, because usually Tay has been faster uh, than all the other guards, but now Rob is just as quick laterally and just up and down, and I just think uh, they give each other fits, and I think it's a... Uh, I think it's a good thing, especially to have that practice uh, where you have two great point guards going with each other. And I think they they build off each other because Tay is more of a street ball, you know, trying to get by you. But crossover thing with Rob is more fundamentally sound, and I think they're both taking things from the other uh, to add to their game. Is there is there a moment yeah. during practice that comes to mind that really kind of established that? Um, when we were doing the two on two drill, probably the first two or three days of practice. And uh, it was a flat ball screen, and then after that, it's, it's just play. And Devontae and uh, Rob were just going at it. Uh, I think it was like two or three positions in a row where one of them stopped, and stopped the other, and then we switched offense, defense, and then Tay would stop Rob, and then just kept going back. And forth.
Coach Miller, yeah. anybody Juwan, think you know, the first time we had these yes. outside yes. expectations since Tom Crane yes. was the coach at Indiana, how has Archie Miller handled things differently under you know big expectations from the outside perspective? Um, I don't think anybody holds us higher than we hold ourselves, and I think uh, RG has done a great job implementing that from the top down. And just for myself uh, personally, I hold everybody to the same uh, standard I hold myself, where if we want to compete for a national championship, then we have to practice like it and we have to act like it. that's what we want to do.